is week two of month 46 of the Booty by Brat official little subscription program that I'm doing. I already did my deload week last week, took it easy. Now this week we're gonna get a little heavier. I'm supposed to do heavy deadlifts and some squats. I did take a little bit of pre-workout and some creatine just cause I am trying to lift heavier. OOTD for the gym. I have this Under Armour long sleeve that's actually not mine. And I have these Lululemon Wonder Trains. Got the high tops, brought these out of retirement. For deadlifts, I like a flat shoe and then just some Nike Crew socks, nothing crazy. This was the push press, did three sets of five. I took it easy on these just because my ceiling <laughs> is pretty low, so I can't push up a lot of weight without hitting the, the ceiling and then messing that up. It went up pretty easily, so. <laughs> That's good. I always have a hard time with push press in general just because I always feel like my form might be a little off and then I get like a little bit of tension in the neck. So I try to be very, very uh, cautious when I do push press just because if not, I could mess myself up, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants that. Then the next thing was half squats. We did three sets of five. Honestly, did 95, did pretty easy on these. These are half squats, so technically just going to parallel and then coming back up, so not below parallel. I wasn't perfect with half squats. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is. Squats for me is 100% like a mental situation, like a mental game. Um, I can't squat as heavy as I feel like I probably could. A lot of that I think has to do with form. I need to go see a chiropractor or somebody because um, last time I went to go get adjusted, they did say that like my right hip is like higher than my left. So clearly I have an imbalance and I can feel that when I'm squatting. So I need to probably get readjusted more often so that I can like fix my form. I am feeling some type of weight in my right side. It's always like a, like a weird tightness that I have. So I am trying to do a little bit more mobility and being better at warming up for my squats. Cause I can tell y'all right now, I suck at warming up. I just, you know, I don't got time for that, but I, I need to make time for it. So um, these were three sets of five. All the sets were 95 pounds and they went up pretty smoothly and pretty easily. I don't think on this day things felt too heavy, but there are some days where it could be 95 pounds, it could be 85, and it feels extremely heavy, even though I think right now my one rep max is about like 135. So not too bad. Not too bad for these uh, back squats or half back squats is what they're supposed to be. Next is inverted row. We did three sets of as many reps as possible. Um, this one, I feel like I do it, I guess you could say sort of assisted with my feet. Um, Otherwise, I, I don't know, I just can't do them or I could do them, but like I use a lot more momentum when I'm not, I don't have my feet kind of like planted the way I do. So first that was eight, next was six, the other was four and inverted rows should feel like that. You're constantly maxing out, let's say if I constantly maxed out for eight reps on, on an AMRAP, that means that I'm not really pushing myself to do as many reps as possible. So the whole pyramid kind of thing where it's like eight, six, four is actually technically the way you're supposed to do it or how it should be that means that you're actually going to failure well, for my deadlifts um i kind of did these in a way that you're not supposed to do them just because the way my home gym is set up like it's honestly really difficult for me to like set up for heavy deadlifts and then take off all the weight to then have to do like a squat push press all of the other stuff so i try to do things in a way that makes sense i know it's not probably not the best because we're supposed to test our one rep max for deadlifts and obviously that's supposed to be heavy and this isn't my heaviest deadlift 155 pounds for one and i honestly had more i guess gas in the tank but i just was going easy because it's a new program so i'm not trying to like overexert myself and then really just completely gas out because i tend to do that a lot and then i have no energy for absolutely anything and yeah i just can't keep functioning life like that 155 for one rep max and then i did three sets of four and then obviously they were different so 120 130 pounds and then 140 pounds for reps so obviously 155 is definitely not my one rep max just because if i'm doing 140 for 
you know, rep stuff for. Obviously, I have way more gas in the tank for a one rep max. I have, uh, I guess at the end of these next couple weeks, we'll test it out. So we'll see. Dumbbell lateral raise. I only have up to 15 pound dumbbells. So I can only go to as heavy as possible with these. Like, I can't really go that heavy. I did three sets of 12 with these. The first set was um, 10 pound dumbbells and 15. And then I kind of did like, I did five with the 15 pounds and then I did the rest with the 10. And so I kind of did that just to push myself because otherwise I'm never going to get any heavier on these dumbbell lateral raises. The next was pause barbell hip thrust, a one second pause. Um, and so those were three sets of 12 and I did that for, what was it? 155 pounds. Um, I was completely gassed out at this point. I could most likely hip thrust way heavier than this because I think my max is like over 200, but I wasn't trying to push it. I was so tired. Um, and I'm, you know, once I start feeling exhausted, my form starts kind of getting messed up. So I'm not trying to push myself so much where I start messing up my form so today is a glute focused kind of workout day we use bands and body weight it's really short it's probably no more than like 30 minutes i have taken two scoops of this pe science prolific in the sour peach rings and i think it's okay this flavor, it's not too bad. Sour peach candy, sorry. I think it's okay, it's not too bad. I've been taking this, I've tried a lot of pre-workouts and I'm not sponsored. Take Prolific, I actually like this one, it's not too bad, but I do feel like, sometimes I feel like I need a little bit more caffeine than what this has. This is the glute workout technically. This is the second glute workout of the month. Um, so again, I haven't been doing these exercises in the, I guess, appropriate order, but I'm doing them in a way that works for me because you know, everyone's life isn't exactly perfect. So the first glute exercise is gonna be the band seated hip abduction four ways. This is done the first way you're laying all the way back and you're just abducting your legs pretty much. Um, and so you're gonna be using a resistance band right here. I use about like a medium to heavy resistant band. It's the only one that I currently have. And then you kind of slowly move up and kind of do it at, at like an angle. So that's the second way that you're supposed to be doing it. And then the third way is you're going to be completely seated. So you're gonna be standing up straight and you're gonna be just, again, slowly abducting with the band and you should be feeling this in the glutes. Like this is supposed to be kind of like one of those glute burner style workouts. Hip abduction movements are actually really good and beneficial if you have a ton of knee or hip pain. I, in PT, was told that I have weak hips. So any type of hip abduction workout or things that are strengthening my knees are really beneficial to me. And so any of these glute circuit workouts aren't necessarily optional for me. I just do them anyways. And the reason why this is beneficial for me is just years of running i used to do half marathons and yeah it took a huge toll on my knee so the next movement was the band standing glute kickback i do this with a resistance band and again this is a medium to heavy resistant band and after this glute kickback i'm supposed to be doing the band standing hip abduction and then after that the squat pulse now the way this circuit is supposed to work is i am supposed to do each and every single exercise back to back with absolutely no rest and then once i'm done with all of these exercises then I take a 90 second rest and then I do them again. So it's three rounds of all of these exercises. The repetitions for each of these exercises was about 20 on each side for the most part or 20 by four. I think the only one that had more reps was the squat pulse. Then you rest and trust me, you're gonna feel a freaking burn. This is about 30 minutes total for me, even with all the little rest and at first you think it feels like absolutely nothing and this is gonna be extremely easy and then at the end of the freaking workout i can't even feel my glutes so yeah it's really good and beneficial personally for me i feel like doing these glutes specific circuits have helped strengthen my hips my glutes i feel like my form has gotten so much better after doing these and i don't know maybe it's just a mental thing or maybe it's just the accessories are actually really working for me so i finished that glute circuit workout it's literally only four exercises, but it always, I don't know, exhausts my areas. I can't, like, I'm literally sweating, and it, it was only 30 minutes. So, <laughs> um, about to do this Nike training club. It's like a 
hit, but it's ab focused. It's by Kirsty Godso. I think I'm saying her name right. Give us a second of work. Shoots parallel, feet flex. We hate missing work. <laughs> here we go. Right side. Tap down. Exhale. We should be able to hear you. Yeah, we can. Good. So using your breath is just really the gateway to getting more out of your core work. So the first exercise of this day three day is going to be an Arnold press. I only have 15 pound dumbbells. That's like the highest amount of weight that I currently have. I could probably go to 17 and a half or maybe even some 20s. But again, this is the highest amount I have in a dumbbell form. I've tried to do these with plates because I have plates that are heavier, but it just the, the way the plates are, it just doesn't work out and it kind of feels really off. So I'm not even gonna try that. Overall, I actually really enjoy Arnold Press. I don't know, I feel like I feel it in all portions of my arms. And yeah, for the most part, I feel like I can't complain on that. So the next in technically what was supposed to be the first exercise are the dumbbell Bulgarian split squats. I personally, I like them. I might be the only person that does. Personally for me, I feel like I feel them the best. I will say that I need to focus more on kind of kneeling forward because I feel these a lot in my quads and you're supposed to feel them in your glutes. So again, I need to focus more on kind of leaning forward so that I get that glute activation because otherwise, um, you know, what's the point of doing Bulgarian split squats? Now these are supposed to be stiff leg deadlifts. And right, I think, yeah, stiff leg deadlifts. And I did these at 95 pounds purely because Loki, I was too lazy to take the weight off because it had 25 pound plates on each side and I was just too lazy to take the plates off. But overall, I am trying to force myself to lift heavier in these stiff leg deadlifts, but these gassed me completely out because honestly, I think I should have gone a little bit lighter. I did get wrist wraps or I guess lifting straps or something because I noticed that my grip was failing and then I was like activating my back more in the stiff leg and also in any type of Romanian deadlift and I felt like my grip was giving out more on me and so technically I could have gone heavier and heavier but my grip and my my yeah pretty much your grip my grip was messing up so I got the wrist wraps and I feel like it's helped me kind of target my legs in these movements more than my back, which is good. The next thing was the one arm row. I do these with plates. Again, I don't have a huge amount of weight in my home gym. So the plates work in this instance and I need to figure out a better format for one arm row. I do feel like I can go heavier in one arm rows and I, I think I might just have to deal with getting a dumbbell set that goes like up to at least like 35, 45 or 50, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I can go heavier on a lot of these things, but my weights are kind of holding me back or the access to the weights that I have is holding me back. So I'm trying to figure out how to do these, you know, effectively in, in you know, my, my current setup. Dual elevated single leg hip thrust. I never used to do these before this program. And personally, these are actually a lot more difficult or way more difficult than they look. They don't seem like they're much of anything, but they're actually really <laughs> difficult. Um, again, I like to do all of these single leg movements because I've noticed imbalances in my left to right leg. I feel like, again, I have, I talked about it before that one side of my hip is higher than the other and I feel like it's causing an imbalance in my left to my right side of my legs. So I personally prefer doing a lot of single leg movements to kind of make sure that both of my legs are even in a sense. But yeah, these you definitely feel. I feel these a ton in my glutes and these are not even that high of a rep. I think it's just three sets of, what is it? Of, tw of 12 on each side and you definitely feel these in your glutes. Cable reverse fly. These, I did these in kind of a modified way because of my setup. I don't have um, the cable machine that I currently have attached to the wall, so I can't do these without kind of 
literally removing the whole cable machine. <laughs> so I did these in kind of like a seated kneeling sort of situation uh, so that I'm able to do these better and more effectively. This is the third strength training day for this week. And then tomorrow is a glute workout, like a circuit. I got my period today, so I'm super fatigued and tired and just everything hurts and I'm mega bloated. But honestly, it explains why I've been feeling so out of it this entire week. And I felt like my lifts weren't as good. And I was like super tired. Everything felt really heavy. And now um, this explains it. <laughs> Finishing out strong with Romanian deadlifts. These are pretty light, three by eight for 95 pounds. I am trying to focus on the mind-muscle connection, really trying to figure out the differences between Romanian and stiff leg, stiff leg deadlift and really trying to feel it in the areas that I'm supposed to be feeling it. So I'm not super perfect with this form, um, but honestly, the best tip that I have is that if you have issues with your grip strength, which for me was a huge issue, I was actually activating my back more, which it makes sense because I was feeling it a lot in my lower back versus what I was supposed to be feeling it, which was in my glutes and legs. So if you have that issue, I highly recommend getting lifting straps. You can get them off of Amazon. I got like a really, you know, pretty cheap pair off of there and they work great. Next movement is the pause military press. And this one you're supposed to pause for one second at the bottom. So right here, pause for one sec, then push back up. Now I wasn't super strict with these again because I can't really pile on the weight onto this bar without hitting the ceiling. <laughs> so I can only do so much. I think 10 pounds is kind of like the max height in terms of a plate that I can use for a military press or a push press only because if I use anything that's kind of bigger in height or taller in height it will hit the ceiling so I'm gonna have to invest probably in some more smaller plates 2.5s 5 pounds 10 pounds so that I can actually maximize on these press movements because right now um, I'm doing 10 8 6 in the reps and I think the max I have on it is 65 pounds um, in this particular day, I only did 60 pounds for the max. Here we have dumbbell reverse lunges. Now I did these off of a platform just to make it more difficult for me because I don't have a ton of dumbbell weight. I'm going to probably start doing dumbbell reverse lunges or any type of dumbbell lunges or lunging in general with the barbell, which is going to be interesting for me because I have really crappy balance. So balancing the barbell and trying to lunge off of something uh i don't know kind of triggers me but i'm gonna have to figure it out because otherwise i'm not gonna get any heavier on these reverse lunges even though i do feel like these 15 pound dumbbells you know they do do the work right but obviously i feel like i'm kind of straggling on my quad growth and just my quad strength and so in order for me to really actually make any type of improvements i'm gonna have to start using the barbell to do lunges. Some people told me to use the, the 25 pound plates, but I can't go all the way down with the 25 pound plate because of like, it'll hit the bottom. Trust me, I've tried that. And it just feels weird because then I feel like I don't do the actual full range of motion in that particular movement. The next thing is supposed to be a wide neutral grip pull down. But again, because I don't have a wide lat pull down, I'm, I can't do that one. So I kind of modified it and tried something a little bit different. I've been meaning to try this movement. I'm not really sure if I'm doing it correctly. I feel like I, for the most part, am, but I think I might be hyperextending my back just a slight. And again, I can't go as heavy as I would like to on this because as you can tell, my cable machine will collapse on top of me. <laughs> and then it'll be like a gym fail video versus a week of workouts and then I ended up just giving up kind of on those and uh, doing some pull downs because I'm supposed to do cable upright rows with these but again because of the fact that the cable machine is not bolted to the wall it will fall on me <laughs> if I do some weird movements in a way like pulling movements basically uh, so instead I modified and I did pull downs um, versus the cable upright rows that we're supposed to be doing and then also another thing that I did was kind of modifying modifying for cable upright rows so this whole portion at the end was just me trying to find a pr 
like a good modification for that movement and I guess this was the closest thing that I could come up with were the dumbbell upright rows which kind of felt weird to me so I still need to mess with those a little bit. The kneeling glute kickback so I have to use a band for those because I don't have a little cable attachment for the ankle yet and I also I probably just need to bolt this damn cable machine to the wall. I just don't know if this is going to be the permanent home gym setup for me yet. So that's why I am not trying to put no holes into the wall until I know that this is going to be where it's going to be at. You know what I mean? Okay, so we finished that workout. Honestly, it was pretty brutal. I'm feeling mega, mega fatigued. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm on my period. But regardless, we pushed through. I am currently eating some Siete chips. And I have a smoothie that has a bunch of stuff in it. It's like mixed fruit, banana... I have hemp seeds, I have chia seeds in here, I have some protein, I have uh, Greek yogurt, and flaxseed. I knew there was something else. So I'm eating that, and then later on I'm going to be eating one of these little Kirkland um, protein bars. So I usually work out fasted, and I pretty much afterwards I work out, I have like a huge meal, um, and then later on I'll have dinner. I'm trying to relax a bit because I'm starting to get real sleepy. <laughs> So, um, and I got stuff to do, so we're gonna figure that out. So this is another glute circuit workout day. Again, I think for this particular month, they were not supposed to be optional, and so I did them all. And for me, again, like I've said, I have weak hips, weak knees. So personally for me, I feel like doing these glute circuit trainings with a band has helped me kind of like improve my form in all of my big lifts so my squat my deadlift those type of things so the first thing was the band leg side lateral walks or something right lateral yeah band lateral walks do those first i think it was like 20 of them up and down and then these are technically monster walks and they're not like the monster walks where you have to like really kind of extend your foot out but for some reason these like just kind of doing like a like a duck waddle situation burned so much more than just regular monster walks for me then this is the quadruped leg swing this one i don't know i don't know how i feel about that one um i had a lot of difficulty doing this one just because of balance off of this little uh glute bench that i currently have and then the other bench that i have isn't really like that stable either so <laughs> i had a lot of difficulty just staying in place with this and like not falling over which you know was happening to me a lot so this quadruped leg swing felt a little weird and i don't know if i was doing it correctly then i have the foot elevated single leg glute bridge this is supposed to be done on each side so keep that in mind you do the lateral band the monster walk the quadruped leg swing both sides of the foot elevated single leg glute bridge and then you do another sideline hip raise thing that i'm about to show y'all and then you do another circuit so you rest and then you do it again and then three rounds of that this is the sideline hip raise this is the first time i've actually done this exercise and surprisingly i did feel these a lot in my glutes and in my hip area i didn't think of these as anything but you definitely do feel these and they were difficult they're a little bit more difficult than i expected We hips so these for me uh were pretty difficult kind of like clamshells in a sense but like a full extension and afterwards because these workouts only take me like 30 minutes to do at the most you know, kind of like 10 minutes per round i also ended up doing some jump roping outside i did this for like 15 minutes on and off kind of like doing hit so like i would jump rope as much as i could until i kind of like messed up and the rope kind of like snagged on me and then i would 15 minutes and this was my cardio for the day that is the week of workouts it's technically a total of five workouts they are pretty easy it's really mainly three like strength training and then the other two days are kind of like your accessory slash circuit days and cardio that's how i have my current split set up and yeah so far i've been really enjoying it i feel like i've been getting stronger if you want follow me on my instagram i did post actually have been gaining my strength back i started off at like 178 pounds like pre-pandemic right now i think i weighed in at like 163 so i have really successfully in a sense recomped i was also kind of like fixing up my metabolism because i wasn't eating enough so i'm like retrained my body to eat appropriately for what I needed. So now, officially, after this week, I have started doing a very slow and small calorie deficit because again, I don't wanna lose my strength. 
And yeah, that's it. I hope y'all liked the video. And if y'all did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.